Hi, welcome to my channel, Organized with Joy. In today's video, I am going to be doing the minimalism game and I will be recording this over the course of the month of February. Today is February 1st, so I am going to be starting this game today. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the minimalism game, it was uh, developed, designed, created, by the minimalists. Their names are Joshua Fields Milborn and Ryan Nicodemus, and they came up with this idea to get rid of um, several items over the course of one month, and it's just kind of a challenge to be able to really declutter a lot more than you would ordinarily declutter. So um, how the game works is on day one, you declutter one item, on day two, you declutter two items, on day three, you declutter three items, and so on and so forth until you get through the entire month. Now, I do admit, I thought about doing this in January, but I had a lot on my plate, and I also was thinking about how February was a little bit shorter, and I have to admit that I'm also a little bit concerned about having enough to get rid of because I am pretty consistent about going through my home and decluttering things. So we'll see how this goes, but today is day one, so today I will be decluttering one item, and then I will show you the process moving forward. Well, today is February 1st. It's the first day of the minimalism game, and I am showing you the item that I'm getting rid of today. It's actually several items, but I'm gonna go ahead and count it as one item. These are parts to a drape rod that I, or actually a couple of drape rods that I installed in our bedroom, but there's a couple of pieces that I didn't need because it was a versatile drape rod. You could install it in different configurations, and it had like a, corner configuration where you could um, install it and not need those end caps in the corner. So today this is item one. It's February 2nd and here are my two items for today. I did replace our toothbrush holders um, with a toothbrush holder that's a little bit easier to clean on the inside. So I will be getting rid of these two toothbrush holders. Okay, today is February 3rd, and these are the three items I'm getting rid of today. I did go through and clean out some of my kitchen drawers, and this I actually cleaned out kind of a long time ago. I was supposed to give it to my friend and then never gave it to her. So, decluttering tip, give it away right away. And then this was a wooden spoon that got caught up back behind our drawer, and I have not missed it. I don't know how long it was back there, but it must have been back there for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and part with that. And then I'm counting this as one item. These are little um, leather straps that came on the um, hearth and hand measuring spoons and cups that I purchased a while back. And I thought that they were really cute. I don't usually keep the, um, the measuring spoons and cups clipped together. Um, but I really liked these leather bands, but honestly, I just don't know what to do with them, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those as well. Today is February 4th, and today I am getting rid of these four little houses. I've actually had them for a long time. I got them at the Target dollar spot, and I just feel like they're not really my style anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to these. They are cute, but like I said, they're just not really my style. Okay, y'all, I am three days behind, and this is definitely proving more challenging than I expected, which I guess is a good thing because it's helping me think outside of the box. And I do want to get rid of these items immediately. I thought about saving all the items that I'm recording over the month of February and then um, having like the whole pile at the end but I'm thinking I should just go ahead and start getting rid of these. Um, so that is probably what I'm going to do. I usually post things on a group called Buy Nothing, and it is a Facebook group in my neighborhood where you can get rid of anything that you need to get rid of, and you can also ask for items as well. I love this group, so definitely check out if your neighborhood has a similar group. 
But for today, we have to come up with 18 items because it's for day five, six, and seven. So that is five things, six things, seven things, which equals 18. Mathematician here. So the first thing, I actually um, am gonna count this as one item, and I don't even know if I should count it at all, but like I said, I'm struggling to find things. Um, these came off of a um, chair that I kind of made over. It was a vintage chair, and I have kept them. I made that chair over last spring, so almost a year ago now, and I don't know why I kept it. Um, maybe I thought I could make something out of it, but they've just been sitting in my cabinet in my laundry room, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this away. And then I bought this pan to roast our turkey in, but the turkey that I got, it came with a roasting pan, so I didn't ended up not needing this. I'm not gonna hold on to this for another year until next Thanksgiving because this thing probably cost me $2. I feel like it's not worth holding on to. And then um, I just reorganized my kitchen drawers with new bamboo organizers, and so I'm getting rid of all of these organizers here. I have this key hook that um, I still really think is cute, but I replaced it with a vintage key hook that I love more. This, um, you might be surprised to see this in the pile, but this actually is broken. So I had to purchase an entire new one because I could not figure out how to get this one to work. And then I have a, a few books here that I'm going to pass along. And then this is actually brand new. My husband got it from a company he was working with. It was like a box filled with, oh, my dog. Okay, it was a box filled with um, breakfast items and this was just one of the things they gave him. So I'm getting rid of this as well. Sorry about my dog. Um, we already have two other French presses because I have one and then when my daughter lived in her apartment, she brought one um, back home with her when she moved back in with us. So I'm thinking <laughs> three French presses is too many. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. Y'all, I cannot stay on top of this minimalism game. This is tough. So I have items for day eight and nine and this is um, nine storage boxes. I had them in my closet and I got rid of a lot of stuff and I used um, different storage boxes that I had on hand that would match my husband's side of the closet. Um, I like to keep storage bins on hand just, just to have them because I'm a professional organizer. It's nice to have stuff like this, but they can't be broken down. They take up a lot of space. I think I'm going to give them to someone in the Buy Nothing group so they can get organized. Next is a box of random things. Um, actually, some of this was the beginnings of a um, box of donations that I was going to take to the donation center. So I don't know if that's cheating because I just had those in my garage. But um, there are eight items in here, so the nine boxes and then eight items equals 17. But I have a light fixture that um, the bottom or top piece that didn't work for me. And then um, an old shower curtain, just a reusable bag that we don't need. Um, a set of sheets we don't need. Dog diapers that we no longer need. Um, and I think at the bottom there's two uh, dresses that used to belong to my daughter when she was younger. And I think I put them in the buy nothing group when we cleaned out my daughter's closet and no one claimed them. So I'll probably just take this entire box to um, Goodwill and maybe add to it over the next couple of days um, just to see what I come up with. Okay, sorry, I counted to make sure I got all eight items, but I did not. This was underneath. Um, this is our um, Beagle's 
a little vest thing that she would wear when we took her on walks. Um, for those of you who don't know, our beagle passed away in the fall. So I'm slowly letting go of her items, but um, that and then those dog diapers used to belong to her when she was still with us. So that is 17 items for day eight and nine. Okay, I am struggling to take video every single day, but this is for day 10 and 11. And these are actually um, things that I've accumulated over the course of time. Um, it's either paint, a paint color that we no longer have in our house. It's basically chemicals that need to be recycled or like these are light bulbs. Um, I counted 21 items. If you count this bag of light bulbs as one item, this box, and then there's, these are actually new light bulbs, but I, I can't use them anymore. So I counted 21 items if you count this as kind of a one item. Um, but anyway, the reason why I have not taken these to get recycled is because the recycling center is like 30 minutes away from my house and so I just keep putting it off. But because of this minimalism challenge, I am going to commit to bringing these to, t to the recycling center by the end of February. So that is for days 10 and 11. Okay, this is for day 12 and 13. I'm pretty convinced I cannot record every single day, so I'll probably do every couple of days. And I'm also struggling to know what to consider one as a batch and what to consider as individual pieces. Um, but I'll show you what I did with this group of 25 things, 12 and 13 equals 25 things. So I have a whole bunch of these wood pieces that were left over from a project that I recently did. And I've actually got even more than this um, in our garage. And I just don't think there's anything that I can do with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let go of them. I could probably hang on to them and try to think of something, but I know that I won't. So I'm gonna let go of those. A sock that the other one has a hole. And then this is a um, cover for an electrical outlet that was in our bathroom. And I recently did a makeover in there and I bought a paintable one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. They're very cheap if I need to replace it. I have six hooks. These were in that half bath that I recently did a makeover and I didn't um, use them for the makeover. I have four organizing baskets that are in bad shape because I have used them for painting projects. I have a wreath that I am ready to let go of. It's a little bit worse for the wear. I have some paint that is from 2014 and I feel like it's probably old enough to get rid of. And then this paint, I didn't use quite all of it um, because towards the end it was getting kind of goopy and I think it's because it is kind of older. It was from a few years ago. Um, so I just got new paint to finish off that project. And I'm gonna say this is one of my items to let go. And then these two lights, um, fluorescent lights, which were in this laundry room actually, and I replaced that light fixture so I no longer need those. And then I have six of these bankers boxes and we used to use them to move my daughter back and forth from college and now we use them to move my son back and forth from college. But it's really a huge pain to store these because you can't break them down. I think when my son moves back home next time, I'm just gonna invest in some cheap moving boxes that I can break down and store in a more efficient way. So that is my 25 things for day 12 and 13. So here is day 14 and 15, and I hope it's light enough in here. We actually have a winter storm right now, and we have our power out. Right now, I may have to re-record this footage here, but we'll give it a try. So for days 14 and 15, that's 29 items. Here is a stack of eight pieces of clothing that I'm getting rid of. And then this is um, a makeup mirror. Um, my daughter gave me hers and so I'm gonna get rid of mine. 
And then I have like these little bags to store jewelry in. I have one, two, three, four, five, wait. One, two, three, four, five of those. And then I have three nail polish that are probably bad, but also I don't tend to grab for those colors. I have this um, thing that you use to mix hair dye in. My daughter used to dye her hair, but she doesn't anymore. And that was the only reason we had that. And then these are um, face masks that were made by a friend of mine. I purchased them from her, but they tie in the back. They don't have elastic around the ears. And this was back when the pandemic first started. Um, but now we have elastic ones. And so those are very difficult to put on. I have a couple of instructions that were in my bathroom that I'm going to get rid of. And then I have um, several pieces of jewelry here that I'm going to get rid of. So this is my 29 items for days 14 and 15. Okay, so this is for day 16 and 17. This might be cheating, but I do have to say we are in the middle of a severe winter storm here in Austin, which is basically unprecedented. We've not had water. Um, we're going on day three today and we've had rolling blackouts. So this may be cheating a little bit. Um, I usually like to group things like this into um, counting as one item, but um, because of my circumstances, I'm really struggling to um, get rid of or declutter things. So I'm gonna count this. There are 33 pieces of leftover wood from a project that I recently did. I actually have a few more pieces there, but I'm gonna count this for day 16 and 17. Um, I'm gonna give myself some grace and say these are 33 items that are leaving my home. Well, today is February 18th, and I actually just made a video of uh, decluttering and organizing my Poshmark closet items that are here in my laundry room. And these are the items that I got rid of from that project today. So I have three baskets and 15 items of clothing that will be leaving my house for day 18 of the minimalism game. And I can link the video that I did where I cleaned out my Poshmark closet if you're interested in watching that video. Okay, so this is for day 19 of the minimalism game. And I'm really struggling to get rid of things. Honestly, I think I'm getting rid of things that I've been on the fence about. So with that in mind, this is one thing that I'm getting rid of. I've really been on the fence about this. I do still like it, but it's borderline not my style anymore. I feel like it's more farmhouse style which isn't really my style. Same with this pitcher, which I use for decor, not to actually drink with. And then this um, ice bucket, we so rarely have get togethers, especially now with COVID, that I'm deciding to get rid of that. I don't love it anyway. And then these two things um, I have, the, I know I've already gotten rid of a French press that was given to us for free. We actually had two other French presses because my daughter used to have one in her apartment. Same with the um, teapot. Um, we had two. This is the, wor the more worse for the wear one, getting rid of that one. And my daughter honestly so rarely drinks coffee. I don't think she really even needs a French press if she does move out of our home. This is kind of crazy. I had some like little baby shoes that I was getting rid of. And when I was taking it to donation at the last minute, I took a bunch of them back out because I was feeling bad that I had zero baby shoes from my kids, um, baby and toddler times. But these were in the storage closet and they got totally destroyed, probably from some sort of animal that was picking it apart to make a nest is my guess. And then I hate this, but I let this plant die. I'm so, it's, it's a succulent. How do you let succulents die? I don't think there's any reviving that. I'll probably keep the pot, but the succulent is going. I have four storage containers. 
Um, I have some tiles and I have more down here. So I have five tiles that um, were from when we were renovating our bathroom, just trying to decide what we were doing. So those are extra, don't need them anymore. Um, this is some of that dry decks that actually dried out. I opened it up for a project and it was completely dry. This is a label that I thought that I needed for a bin in my pantry and then once I got it, everything situated, I realized I don't need that label. And then these are instructions on how to install the light that is in this laundry room. So that is for day 19. There is 19 items here. And like I said, I'm a little bit struggling because some of these things I'm on the fence about, but I think it's probably good to just let go of those things that I've been on the fence about. Okay, so for day 20, um, this weekend we have to take down our bulk pickup items because finally bulk pickup has resumed. And so we have this broken office chair, this um, old fluorescent light fixture, and then that old mattress. So those three items are part of day 20 and I will show you the other 17 items. Okay, I just talked to my husband and son and I have three more items for bulk pickup. That bike, nobody has used it in many, many years. And then um, I believe this is a spare tire for that bike. And then this is my son's electric scooter. He did try to fix it and it didn't, still didn't work. So um, these three items plus the three other items is six items for bulk pickup. And then I will show you the other 14 items. Okay, and here's the other 14 items. You might notice that I am really struggling, so I'm kind of getting rid of things that really are considered trash, but I will show you anyway. Um, these are some eight millimeter tapes that we used to use with a video camera we had, and th those were ones that we just never used. We obviously are not going to record anymore on this sort of device. This was a random um, thing that was in a side table in my living room. I think it was a piece of our Christmas tree. This um, came in a two pack uh, that I bought on Amazon for a lamp and I don't need the other one. This was um, from a uh, plant that I had purchased and I depotted it into a different pot and so I'm gonna get rid of that pot which could be considered trash along with these two things. This is a candle that is, is done. And then this is some um, chapstick that is gone as well. And then I have one, two, three, four, five pieces of wood left over from a project that I did. So all of that together, that's 14 items, the six items from outside, that's 20 items for day 20. Okay, y'all, I need to record for day 21 and 22 of the minimalism game. And my husband went through um, all of our movie DVDs and all of our um, computer programs and files, and he got rid of all of this. And I am guessing there, let's see, day 21 and 22 would be, oh my gosh, math is hard. <laughs> 43 items. Um, there's way more than 43 items here, but I'm gonna go ahead and count this for day 21 and 22, because there are some days where I felt like I was maybe cheating a little bit, so I'll go ahead and count this for those two days. And these are actually just um, movies that he recorded onto blank CDs, um, so they're not really valuable anyway. Um, and we actually did keep some of them. Um, who knows, maybe one day we'll get rid of them all. But um, for now, I'm happy with this progress. He got rid of a lot of stuff and I so appreciate that he helped me with this so that I had more items to get rid of for this game. Okay, so bulk pickup comes this week and I didn't wanna miss putting this out. I forgot about it. I was thinking about um, getting rid of this. So I'm gonna count this as item number one for day 23. It's just a piece of um, insulation foam board. Okay, so here are my items for day 23. It's technically a little bit more than 23 items um, because I have multiple of um, one type of item here. 
um, but I'll just go through these quickly. These are just reusable bags, some um, drawer organizers that I don't need anymore. I replace them. I like to go through our magazines. We pretty much just get consumer reports. It's a gift from my in-laws every Christmas. So I try to only keep one year on hand. So every once in a while, I'll go through and get rid of um, last year's copies and same with the buyer's guide. And then this little bag came with um, our steam vacuum along with the instructions. You can pretty much always find instructions to appliances or things like this online. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, we have another storage box and a stack of lids. I used the cups, but not the lids. So those are purposeless. Um, this little miniature um, clip, I was keeping it because I thought it would be cute to use on a gift or something. And then these are um, questions that we used to use at dinner time with our kids when they were little. Um, don't really use those anymore. This, I still love this. It came from Grove Collaborative and it's their um, refillable laundry soap container, but honestly it leaks. I do not like the design of this and I also have a different type of laundry soap that I like to purchase. I also have multiple labels from the different um, soap dispensers that I purchased off of Amazon. These labels just came with those soap dispensers. I have a dog dish that we used to keep outside for water and um, our dog passed away in um, October of last year. So I have another dish identical to this that used to be her food dish. And so um, since this one is a little worse for the wear, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. This came with the garbage disposal we recently purchased and they didn't like install this. You don't need to install this new piece that goes in the sink portion. Don't need that. And I already mentioned that. So that is day 23. So today is day 24 and I am getting rid of all of these um, CD cases. I never know if I should count items like this as kind of a lot and say it's one item, um, but it has been hard for me to gather items to get rid of, so I'm just doing the best I can. Um, There's certainly more than 24 of these uh, CD cases, but this is what I'm getting rid of for day 24. Today is day 25 and I will show you what I have today. These are some random things that I stuck in this box a long time ago that I wanted my son to go through and finally I got him to look at this stuff. There's just a couple of cords. One is a computer cord to an old laptop and then I'm not really sure what this one is. Um, and then this is a camcorder that my husband got for free at a conference. And then these are just a bunch of um, screws from my son likes to take computers apart. Um, sometimes for parts, other times to just learn about them. And this also, I think this was to an external hard drive. Um, I'm not sure though, but all of these things he said could go. These were in that box as well. These are just some um, Switch game holders. And we have like a case that holds all of our Switch games. And so he said he didn't need any of those. So I have a whole stack of those. This was also in there. I believe it's a fan for a computer. He said he didn't need that anymore. This is a lid to a water bottle that we no longer have. And then I have several of these straw cleaners. And so I have multiple sizes, but this size I had two of and I didn't really see a need for that. Have no clue what this belongs to, but it's just been sitting in a drawer. So I assume that I can get rid of it. And then these, uh, this is hard to get rid of, but we have not used these. I think we used them one time and I tried to wash them in the dishwasher and they melted. So it's not really practical to clean these out very easily, but this was just, I had a friend get me a fun birthday gift with like just a bunch of really fun things. And this was in that package. So we did actually use them at one point, um, but like I said, they're just impractical to clean out, but such a fun idea. 
Um, so I'm gonna get rid of those as well. So this is day 25. Okay, so here is day 26. And as you can see, I feel like I'm kind of just scraping the bottom of the barrel to finish this challenge. But I have these two baskets. They were holding all of our um, paint and uh, light bulbs and things like that that needed to be discarded. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of them. I have mentioned before, I have other storage bins that I can use in that storage closet to store whenever I need to put um, paint and stuff that we want to get rid of and store it until I can bring it. Um, I have two video game, uh, not games, but uh, cases. We don't store them in the cases. I have some light bulbs that we no longer use. They don't work with any of um, the light fixtures we have. And then over here I have some things that I got from my kitchen. I used to really be into um, decorating cakes for my kids' birthdays when they were little. I did keep my metal tips, but I'm getting rid of all of these plastic tips. Honestly, I don't even remember what this is used for, um, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I have like a ton of icing coloring. Um, it's supposed to make your icing really vibrant, but I feel like this has got to be expired. Um, all of this was from when my kids were 10 and under, and now my youngest is 17, um, because I really don't think I made extravagant birthday cakes after their 10th birthday. Um, and this is also just some icing. Um, and then I have a couple of uh, lids and straws that are random, that don't belong to anything, or at least I haven't seen the cups to these in a really long time. Um, I'm not sure if this is exactly 26 items. I think it's more if you count out each individual item. So like I've said before, I'm going to count this good as day 26. Okay, so today is day 27 and I have um, a whole stack of movies. My daughter helped me last night go through all of our kids' movies and she um, decluttered 20 of those. And then I have this lid. This belongs to a glass uh, bowl, but we actually have too many of these. Um, we have, I think, eight bowls, but we never use all of the lids, and this one got stained. And then this is, this is so random. Um, so you remember those crazy straws I got rid of? The gift box that my friend made me with like all these fun things also had these light up rings and i really do love the idea of this gift box it's just they've been sitting around in my house and maybe little kids could enjoy these i'll put those in the buy nothing group but i did bring this guy in here to show you i'm not getting rid of him but this was also in that package and i don't know if i will ever get rid of this guy he just makes me so happy i have him sitting on my windowsill above my sink you might have seen him in other um, videos but anyway that came in that same birthday package she made for me so I feel okay letting go of these so that is day 27 okay you guys I made it to day 28 I'm so excited so this is the last group of things I'm getting rid of and the first thing is a whole stack of PC games that once again I had my husband go through that has been the really amazing thing about this game is it's forced me to ask my husband and kids about things that I've wondered about. I also have an extra um, apron that I don't need. Um, I had kept this uh, from some champagne. It wasn't any fancy champagne or anything. It was a friend gave it to me and I thought it was cute, but I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I have two vases. So obviously there's more than 28 discs here. So I'm gonna count this as day 28. Well friends, that is all I have for you in today's video. I hope it inspired you in some way. Maybe it gave you motivation to go declutter things from your home or potentially even play this minimalism game in the next month. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss any future content that I post. I'll see you in the next one, bye. Thank you.
Thank you.